Today we are installing our deck post designed for 10 mil glass. This short video will show you just how easy it is to install 10 mil glass railing. Our patented post system is designed to be used on standard decks with 90 degree corners or along the most ambitious curved decks with ease. If you are a homeowner, this video will take you from start to finish of your project, showing you helpful hints along the way. If you are a contractor, this video will show you how much time you can save by using our posts to deal with difficult angles found on decks today. The first step in any railing installation is to measure the layout of your deck's railing. Our post is designed to have maximum spacing of 4.5 feet or 54 inches center to center. Next, determine which post type will be suitable in each post location. If you are installing against or up to a wall, use our wall mount post. This post will allow the glass to rotate from 45 degrees to 135 degrees. A 90 degree corner would be most suited for our corner post. The corner post will allow you to rotate the glass from 45 degrees to 225 degrees. If your railing stops for an area to walk through, use our end post. This post allows adjustment from 45 degrees to 135 degrees. And finally, for all runs of glass railing that are continuous, use our inline post. The gasket will allow adjustments of 45 degrees to 135 degrees on one side and from 225 degrees to 315 degrees on the other. Now that you have determined the posts required for your job and ordered your posts from us, let's take a look at what is included. Your posts will be shipped as one order but are packaged in individual boxes. Each box contains one post, a rubber base plate gasket, four color matched mounting leg bolts, and two styles of post caps. Start by removing the backing of the rubber base plate gasket and apply the sticky side to the underside of the base plate. Be careful in aligning the holes in the gasket to the holes of the underside of the base plate. If you are installing an inline post to navigate an angle, simply divide the angle in half by positioning the post in the middle. Remember, our posts are designed to allow the glass to sit inside the rotating gasket. Place posts in the location of installation. Now is the time to have a look under your deck to see what is available to drill into. We recommend that each lag bolt have 3 inches of bite, meaning the lag bolt should be fastened in an area where you have a beam. This includes your deck's surface. In our case, our deck's beam measures two and a quarter inches from the deck edge. Helpful hint number one. If your post position does not allow for at least three inches of bite, cut up some quarter inch plywood of four by six pieces and place them under your deck in the post's location. This will allow the lag bolt to suck the piece of plywood up against the underside of your deck. This is an effective solution in providing a secure and sturdy post. Space your posts equally from the edges of your deck. Using a quarter inch drill bit, drill a pilot hole in two opposite holes first. Install the lag bolts provided. Our installer uses an impact drill to be more efficient. But a 9 16 wrench or a 9 16 socket will work well also. Drill the last two pilot holes followed by the lag bolts. Have a small level handy to ensure your posts are installed level on both sides. Helpful hint number two. You want to ensure that all leg bolts are tight. Most deck surfaces have a slope to allow water to run off. To get your post level on both sides, you may need to shim up the low side. You have two options. You can buy washers to place under the post, or you could use a penny that is readily available in most pockets. In our case, we are using the cheaper Canadian Penny. Helpful hint number three. If you have a straight run of railing, install the two outside posts first. If you carefully insert a screw in the corners of the two posts, you can attach a string line to the posts, which is an effective way to ensure the line posts are fastened in a straight line. To install your wall mount post, Place in location and drill pilot holes to install lag bolts. Don't over tighten at this point. Make sure your post is level. With the center gasket removed, 
Attach your post to the wall with the screws into the holes provided. Then, reinsert the gasket. A commonly asked question is, what if my post is too tall for the location I need to install the post? Being that our posts are made from extruded aluminum, you can trim them. First, start by removing the post cap. Our installer uses a power chop saw, however, a hacksaw will also do the job. Trim both the post and the gasket to the same desired length. Now your posts are installed. We could end here, but let's show you how to order your 10 mil glass from your local glass supplier. Using your tape measure, measure the span from the inside of the one post to the inside of the next post. Make sure you hold your tape measure against the post to get an accurate measurement. You may need someone to help you to do this. Always measure from the bottom of the post just above the base plate as this is the most reliable place to take your measurement. Warning: Do not measure from the edge of the base plate. Add one and a quarter inches to the above measurement so the glass will sit appropriately in the gasket. For example, if the measurement from the inside of the one post to the inside of the next post was 35 inches, your glass measurement should be 36 and a quarter inches. Adding one and a quarter inches to the measurement will allow the glass to sit appropriately in the gasket. Helpful hint number four. As we mentioned before, your deck surface may not be level and you have probably been required to shim a few posts already. To measure this slope, place something flat across the tops of the two posts. Using your level, raise the surface until your level shows that the flat surface is perfectly level. With your tape measure, measure the distance between the top of the post and the underside of the flat surface. In the glass business, this distance is called the rack. When ordering your glass, provide your local glass company with the rack measurement and the width measurement. When unloading your glass, be sure to place some wood underneath the glass. Placing your glass directly on the concrete could result in damaging the glass. Helpful hint number five. Pick up a bottle of silicone spray from your glass company. You will need to lubricate the edge of the glass and the gasket channel before sliding the glass into place. If silicone spray is not available, dish soap will also do the trick. Starting at the top of the posts, slide the glass into the gaskets. Go ahead and use some downforce when getting towards the bottom of the gasket. To install the caps, look for the weld marks on the underside of the cap. You need to make sure the weld marks point away from the circular area that the gasket sits in. This will prevent binding and provides a flush fit for the cap. Using our post allows you to have a few different styles of 10 mil glass railing. This look provides a flush looking railing and therefore you would install the solid post caps. If you want a taller railing profile, all you need to do is order taller glass. If you are installing taller glass, then you will need to install the punched post caps. Another option is to frost your glass for privacy, or in this case, to hide the back of a barbecue. Congratulations! Now you can sit back, relax, and enjoy the view.